Wood, I'm the food director at Delicious and welcome to my home kitchen. Today I am making a free form pork and fennel lasagna with bacon bechamel. The reason that I love this recipe is it takes all of the work out of lasagna. You literally just put the lasagna sheet straight into the sauce so it's quick and easy compared to the laborious lasagnas that we're used to. So let's get started on the ragu. For the base of our sauce, we're using onion, fennel, and garlic, and we're just gonna saute that off until it's nice and soft. Just gonna add a little pinch of salt to help to extract some of the moisture from the vegetables. While the onion mixture is cooking, I'm going to remove the casings of the sausages. So I've got really nice Italian pork and fennel sausages. I'm gonna remove the casings because I wanna break this up to a nice coarse mince for the ragu. Our onion base is ready. We're going to add our sausage meat to the pan. It's gonna cook for about 15 minutes until it's nice and golden brown and a lot of that fat has come out of the sausage meat. Once you've added the sausage meat, you really wanna get in there with a wooden spoon and break it all up just so it cooks nice and evenly. Roughly chop a third of a bunch of sage to add to the ragu. Our base is ready to go. I'm just going to deglaze the pan with some white wine and we're also going to add the sage. Then we've just got to add our tomato sugo, which is a seasoned tomato passata, and also a little bit of water to loosen it up. Now I'm just going to let the sauce simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's really nice and thick and reduced. It will be so flavoursome. Now we're ready to make the bechamel. This is a really decadent bechamel, I'm not gonna lie. It's got a bacon and an onion base, but it's so Moorish, you'll probably never make a regular bechamel ever again after this. Um, so we're going to add some, we've got some beautiful smoky bacon, which will just give the bechamel an amazing flavor. We're going to add that to a cold pan with a little bit of butter and some finely chopped onion. Now we're just gonna cook that down until all that fat renders out of the bacon and the onion is really nice and soft. The base of the bechamel is ready to go. It already smells so good because of the bacon and onion. I'm just going to add some plain flour and that will thicken the bechamel. Just give that a good stir to combine and we're going to cook it out for about two minutes which will get rid of the floury taste. Now I'm going to add the milk. I'm going to switch to a whisk just to make sure that no lumps form as I add it. And I'm going to do it in two batches. Now I'm just gonna bring the bechamel to a simmer and cook it stirring constantly until it's nice and thick. Our ragu is looking beautiful. Now, even though you want this thick and reduced, you also do want that liquid in there because we've got to put the lasagna sheets in. So I'll just do a little bit of seasoning and then we're ready to go. We're ready to assemble now. So this is very much, you can just freestyle with this bit. I'm using fresh lasagna sheets. If you want to use the dried lasagna sheets, you need to pre-cook them first. But I use fresh lasagna sheets here just because it's really fast. This is very much about being a weeknight lasagna. So all you're going to do is start pushing them into your ragu and you just want to make sure that they're submerged in the sauce. Although I do like to leave a few little bits out the edge just so that they're nice and crispy. A crispy bit of lasagna is always good and you'll miraculously end up with layers. That's looking good. So now we'll just add our bechamel. So just give that a little whisk to bring it back together. So when I add bechamel to the lasagna, I like to leave some little pockets of the ragu on the outside because I like the look of when it bubbles over the bechamel. And now I'm going to add extra cheese, because why not? Finish, I'm just going to add some beautiful sage leaves that still have the stem on. It's just for presentation, so you can play around a little bit here and do it however you like. But I'm just going to oil the sage leaves really lightly so that they don't burn whilst it's baking. The lasagna is ready to go in the oven. I can't wait to taste this. I'm definitely gonna put it on a tray because you can already see it starting to bubble over the edges, but that's what makes this lasagna so irresistible. So see you in 35 minutes. My freeform pork and fennel lasagna is an absolute crowd pleaser, sure to impress your family and friends, plus it's super simple to whip up. For this recipe and more, head to delicious.com.au.